Ruined it! Mm -hmm. Carolyn, enough. Enough, David. The initial desire to take Dark Shadows and make it into a feature film is the idea of this highly, highly dysfunctional family. The Collins family is odd. They're that family in the neighborhood that everybody talks about, the weird family. It's a real ensemble cast. You kind of needed things to have that internal working amongst each other. Children! Especially with the family. This is such a non-average family, but we treat it like an average family. There were people that I felt could be Dark Shadows people and others that aren't. That was a strange sort of criteria of casting. Angelique! Get out of my house! Johnny grew up watching the series. Then it was the same with Michelle. You don't get more diehard, you know, fan of the Dark Shadow series than Michelle. I worked with her on Batman Returns Catwoman, which was actually one of my favorite performances of, of anybody I've worked with. Tim said when he went to cast the movie, he thought about the weird factor, which of course I love, that he thought of me. She understands that type of comedy. How soon can the horses be ready? We don't have horses. We have a Chevy. When we do these dinner and breakfast scenes around a table where the whole family's there, it's a family drama with highly comedic elements. He's not staying with us forever, is he? Tim and I were going for the idea of this dining area where everyone sat down, but no one really likes each other. Carolyn! Will you please turn that noise down? The silence in the scene meant so much more than anything that we could say. I think it'd be really fun to be Carolyn. She's this like Alice Cooper loving, Steve Miller band listening hippie. The whole movie, everyone's like, oh my gosh, it's just teenage angst. You know, why are you always so mad? Chloe tapped into that troubled teenager thing really, really well. Tim always has such a great eye for casting. And he really has found a mini Michelle. You would really believe that it could be mother and daughter. They have their typical mother of a teenager. She hates me. I hate her. <laughs> no, We're not getting along. Carolyn, this is Miss Winters. Please, call me Vicky. Victoria is the character that we kind of come into the Dark Shadows world through. You're a liar. I can tell you now, just from a person's face. Yours says, no secrets. Bella looks like a person who's been reincarnated. That's why she was just the right person for Victoria. It's really fun. I mean, I've been fortunate enough that I haven't had to shoot Jose and Vicky on the same day, but it's kind of great because the look is so different. It makes it a lot easier to play the two separate characters. She's gonna scare you. Are you scared? Terrified beyond belief. How long has it been? It's been 20 minutes. Vicky relates to David because we're both haunted. The best way I could describe it is it kind of looks like a kid who looks like he sees ghosts. He tore us to pieces in one scene that he turned it on like that, and I got really jealous. <laughs> this is probably the best way the first film I could have been in. Everybody's really friendly and extremely witty and funny. What if I told you about cutting holes in the sheets? It was a Egyptian cotton. Exactly what I've been saying. This family could use some balls. Johnny Lee Miller looked like the original Roger, without even knowing. I don't think he knew the series at all or anything like that. He's like one of my favorites in it. It's nice to play someone who's not very nice and uh, a bit of an idiot, I would go as far as to say, because I'm not an idiot at all, so it's nice to get to play one. <laughs> chop, chop, Willie, I'm starving. God help me if it's another bone dry hot roast. Weaken. Willie's kind of somewhat of a disheveled, sloppy kind of guy. In this version, he's a servant to the family. He's quite different than, than the, the, the Willie Loomis from the soap opera. Many years ago, Jackie sent me an audition that he did on his own, and I was sort of blown away by it. I keep on drinking and trusting my luck. 
he's a different character for me. I definitely looked at a lot of drunk people on the internet. That was very helpful. He's a murderer! Dr. Hoffman is David's psychiatrist. She was only supposed to be there for two weeks when David was five or six, and she, she's been there ever since. She's overstayed her welcome. You're the doctor? Yeah, and you're the nanny. We've done about 15,000 films together, Helen and I. Without even saying anything or trying anything, we almost like try to outweird each other. I don't know how flattered Helena was to be offered the role of an aging alcoholic psychiatrist, but uh, somebody's got to do it, right? He saw me as the alcoholic psychiatrist, as if it was really, really obvious. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've killed Helena in films. Tim constantly has me killing his wife in his movies. I don't know what that means. I know that Tim is so thrilled about the cast and everybody in it. I think it's probably the most fun I've seen Tim have on a set. Tim actually would sometimes laugh off camera in the middle of a take. <laughs> because everybody was so funny and so weird. Luckily, at the end of it all, everybody that was in it, for me, was like a Dark Shadows person, whether they like it or not.